what is good all my gamers out there it's that one the only expert in beast and tell you guys are watching well you see with your own eyes that black ops 2 tdm yay black ops 2 tdm on the wii u yay <laughs> but anyways guys today's video topic is going to be about if call of duty will be in trouble in the next gen now this came up to my mind because there's going to be obviously stronger consoles out so a lot more developers are going to be able to utilize their specs to make their games have more frames per second and things of that nature. Now Call of Duty clearly had an advantage when it came to the frames per second current generation and I will touch up on that in a second but now with games being able to run near more like their PC ports I guess Will Call of Duty be in trouble next gen, or do you think it will still keep its top dog status as the FES Kings, the Omega Destroyers, you know, all that good stuff? But, anyways, guys, before I touch up on that actual topic, you guys are watching TDM gameplay, like I said earlier, and I'm using the AA94 with the red dot sight and suppressor. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was pretty pissed off playing this game right here. Like, I could not play Call of Duty this morning worth for anything. I had a video already ready for you guys talking about this the same exact topic. But, for some reason, Sony Vegas or my video just went poop all over my laptop and the quality just came out completely bad, guys. And I know you, you guys wouldn't want to watch something like that. Lines all over the screen. Just didn't even look like it was 720p at all. So, no, it, I already had this video ready, but I had to go out and actually get another gameplay, which made me rage a whole lot. So, this is the best gameplay I could get this morning. And if you don't like it, boy, you can suck on the toe. You can suck on that big, fat toe, guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the actual topic at hand. Now, I was thinking about this because I've been having next gen consoles on my mind lately. I'm like, hey, which next gen console am I going to end up getting first? And pretty much. With me having next gen consoles in my mind, I was thinking about, I wonder how these first person shooters are going to be on a next gen console. And as we all know, Battlefield 4 is said to be running at 60 frames per second, which leads me to believe that a lot more developers are going to make their first person shooter games run at 60 frames per second too. Now let me just say this, yes there's more factors to it than just Call of Duty having 60 frames per second that made it successful. There's factors like it's a new friendly type of game, you don't have to like invest a lot of time in the match, you can only play like a TDM that lasts about 3 to 5 minutes at best. So. There's a lot more factors than just the game running at 60 frames per second, but that was the 60 frames pretty much is a big factor though. That's one of the big factors, especially when it came to current generation um, console first person shooters because it's one of the only games that at least I can think of that is successful and ran at 60 frames per second. We're talking about the first person shooter genre rise anyway. There's a lot of other games like Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor, which I'm not trying to take anything away from, but they ran at 30 frames per second, and as a result, they didn't feel as smooth as Call of Duty, they didn't feel as fast, you know, smooth, so you can tell when you play Call of Duty on consoles versus when you play like Battlefield 3 or Medal of Honor on consoles, you can definitely tell the difference with the frames per second and all that, and it just doesn't feel as good as Call of Duty is. Whether you let the game or not, this just Call of Duty has that feel with the 60 frames that makes it feel good. Friendly you guys, I know you guys get where I'm coming from with this one. But now in the next gen era, I'm assuming they won't really have that advantage since other games will be able to run at 60 frames and feel just as smooth as Call of Duty does. So to answer the question, I think they may be a little bit in some trouble. They're still going to sell regardless, but I think they may be in a little bit of trouble. They're going to have to find ways to make the game seem fresh. But anyways, guys, you let me know how you feel about this topic. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. New viewer, hit that lovely subscribe button. I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace.